Uh, what does this one do? It's a uh, inter revolt uncommon. <laughs> <laughs> That's the important part. Uncommon only. Uncommon only. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to the Game Saven channel for another episode of Quintessential Commander. My name is Esmond. I'm Liang Ying. I'm Matt. And I'm Paul. And today we have a very special episode. We are playing new Capenna Commanders. We are doing $100 budget pre-con upgrades. Definitely below budget. Just want to say a big shout out to all of you who support this channel by subscribing, liking, leaving a comment down below. Helps us out so much. And also a bigger shout out to all the patrons for supporting this series. If you want to go support this show, check out the Patreon page. Patrons get early access, they get to play spell table games, they get to influence the content, choose the commanders that we play on this show. And finally, the last way you can support us is by checking out our merchandise store, quintessentialcommander.com. As you can tell, we have t-shirts. Uh, playmats are coming very soon. And talking about playmats, every episode we are giving away these playmats. If you want them signed, we can sign them, but it does not increase the value. So we are giving away three playmats. If you want to take part, just follow the instructions on the screen. And finally, a big shout out to our camera equipment sponsor, Blackmagic Design. These guys make some of the best camera equipment in the world, always making us look fabulous. Alright, so the decks we are playing today, I will be playing Kit Kanto, Mayhem Diva. This deck is all about causing mayhem on the field. I will be trying to flood the board with tokens and trying to tap my untapped creatures in order to goad other creatures and make them bigger and give them trample so that they attack each other and not attack me. I'll be playing Toolbox Tore today. I think he doesn't want his first name to be known. This is all about blitz and attacking. <laughs> For my upgrades, I've uh, increased the death synergies and I've put a few more blitz creatures that will... Uh, a few more creatures that will fit Tore's uh, blitz requirements. So hopefully I can attack faster. Alright, I'm playing Unhallow the Painter. So this deck, I've upgraded to make it have more bigger, flashier spells. And hopefully, it, I can even cast it before I die. <laughs> before you become a casualty. Before I can yes. <laughs> before you become yes, a yes. casualty. So I'm playing Kamis, Obscura Oculus. So I've kind of built it a bit more like a tempo deck that you would find in other formats. Uh, light stacks, effects, ways to uh, maintain my board presence and push my opponents backwards, yeah. Alright, so in case you don't know, um, all the pre-cons now actually come with this new Capena collector sample booster pack thing. So we're gonna open them uh, and see who has the highest value card. That person will start the game first. So if you enjoy this series, don't forget like, comment, subscribe and let's go! Let's open the packs. Okay, there's a token. New friends. And then we have... Oh, Errant! Street yeah. artist and... A mask bandit. Oh no, that's not good. <laughs> so, my mind. so I will have a oh, professional good. face breaker. Yeah. And a crew Who captain. Okay. Alright. Okay, mine is a horde hauler. Okay. And botanical plaza. Okay, okay. Why well, you all reveal the rare first one? No sense of theatrical... Yeah. Yeah, the front card is the... Oh. No, it's not. No, that's rare! Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got Rigo. Yes, I got Rigo. Oh no, Gabriel's haunting me from B. <laughs> okay, I think Liang Ying's card is the best. Yeah, Liang Ying's card is the best. <laughs> Let's begin. So I will draw for my turn. I will play a Chalk Estuary, revealing an island. Sure. Okay. And I would say go. Drop a turn. I will play Sunken Hollow. Tapped. I will say go. Right, my turn. Draw. I will play Smoldering Marsh. Tap. Nice. Yep, go. Alright, come on. Draw. I guess I'll do the most this turn. I'll play a tap Temple of Triumph. Excellent. And I will scry one. Excellent. He's, <laughs> done. He's done the most this game so far. We need to attack him. I'll put this at the bottom. And I'll say go. Okay, I'll draw for my turn. I'll play an island. I'll tap two. I'll Cast Dimir Signet. That's so good! <laughs> <laughs> I played the wrong land! I'll say go. I will untap. Draw a turn. I will play Swamp. I will tap two. And I will play Signet. a creature. Crow no. of Baldur's Gate. Oh, that's so good. And I will say go. Draw a game trail. I'll reveal a Moon 10. So it comes in untap. Then I'll tap two and cast Sakura Tribe Elder. What's with all this turn two plays, man? It's just a Sakura Tribe Elder. <laughs> Draw, turn to play. Nope. I will play a tapped Thriving Bluff. 
So this is the one that adds red, and when the ET beats, I choose another color. I'll choose white. Okay, so all, so all the forests are in his hand. Yes, I'll say go. Untap, draw for my turn. I will play Greek 6 Panorama. Nice. I will tap for 2. I will cast Tenacious Underdog. Oh, that one good cut. And I would say go. Alright, I draw for turn. Play a Exotic Orchard. Nice. Ah, yes. The, the, the endlessly reprinted cut. Yes. <laughs> good card. I will move to Karmbat. Set the Esper deck. I'll send to the Naya deck. Yeah, I'll attack Because you. very soon, we won't sure. be able to attack you. Yeah. <laughs> and moreover, I need to joke. I understand, I understand yeah. the logic. Yes. Okay. I'll take one damage. You lose one life, you mail a card, then I gain one life and scry one. So one from the damage, one from the trigger. Yeah. Then I mail a card, I will mail a oh, Fasik. Oh no! <laughs> I will gain a life and I'll scry one. Wow. I'm just trying to get my lands. <laughs> okay, then at the end of Paul's combat, Whoa. I sacrifice a creature elder. Uh, since you are doing that, I will just sacrifice with this power Narama. <laughs> same time, right? Yeah, same yeah. time. I will locate a swamp. I will locate a mountain. Good job. Yes. I will stay at my far seat. <laughs> Sadly. Sadly. Yes. For my second main phase, I will play the chase card of this precon. Oh no. Oh. Smuggler's share. So at the beginning of each end step, draw a card for each opponent who drew two or more cards this turn, then create a treasure token for each opponent who had two or more lands entered the battlefield under their control this turn. I'm sure that's not gonna happen in precons. Oops. Oh, oops. oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yup. And I will say go. That's definitely me. Untap, upkeep, draw. Esmond, why did you put this seating position? Why? <laughs> I'll lay a mountain and I'll tap four and I will have two lands enter the battlefield under my control this turn. Very nice. <laughs> why? So I'll cast migration buff. Okay, actually, you can cycle it, you know. <laughs> I could, I could. I'll find a forest and a mountain, put on a battlefield tap, and end my turn. During your end step, Smuggler's Share will trigger and I will get a treasure token. Nice. <sighs> I will untap my one lane. <laughs> and draw. <laughs> draw cultivate. I will play Fortified Village. When it ETBs, I will reveal a forest in my hand so it enters untapped. Tap three. And I will play the most useless Beastmaster Ascension. <laughs> With no creatures on board. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> I will say go. Alright, untap. Draw for my turn. I will play an island. I would tap 3 to cast my commander and hello the painter. So he does nothing right? Not yet. Yeah, yeah. So I'll move to combat. Tenacious underdog goes to Paul. I will eat 3. Then I would say go. Draw a turn. Oh no. Oh no. Not good. And this just hit Matthew. What? Okay, Matthew, I hit you for 1. Which becomes 2. Yes. I'll take one, and then another one, and then a middle one, and then yeah. I try one. In Drake Storm Howler, which could have destroyed Beastmaster Essential. Oh, good job. Good job, Paul. It was a bad idea. <laughs> I'll scry. I will bottom that. No lands. No lands. I will tap four for my commander. Okay. Um, I miss. And then I guess I'll take up. My turn. Untap. Okay. Draw. I will lay a Jan Panorama. Mm -hmm. Then I will tap three. And cast two box toy. Mm -hmm. Go, 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 go! Jan control. I will draw. <laughs> I will play a forest. Mm -hmm. You want to ram? I can't ram. Aww. I will tap four and following the pattern, I will play my commander. Kid Kanto. Make him do that. So when she ETV, she actually does something useful, unlike your commanders. Thanks a lot, Esmond. <laughs> <laughs> Just for that, I will remove Kit Kanto. <laughs> yes, I'm attacking you now. Uh, so I get a citizen, and that's it for me. Alright, draw for my turn. Okay, so I'm going to combat. Ta -ta! Uh, do you want to tap down your... No, oh, I, think, I, I think he wants to goad my stuff. <laughs> I, I feel like he wants to goad my stuff, I can smell it. I choose not to goad your stuff, Liang Ying. So don't attack me. Sure, combat. Tenacious underdog goes to Esmond. I will eat 3 damage. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you block. <laughs> Alright, I would say go. I will drop a turn. I will move to combat. I'll attack Liang Ying with Kamis Obscura Oculus. So I will make it such that Kamis cannot be blocked. Alright, this turn and it will connive. Connive triggers first. Yep, oh, so much. I will loot. <laughs> oh, that's a land. I will discard Stronic Resonator. Okay. Then he gets a plus one counter. Yes, so you will take three no commander. I'll take three. Can't block. Take three commander. I will lay a Feated Heath. 
and then I will tap two to play a hush bringer. Oh wow! Ah, uh, crap! He just <laughs> eating me. Yeah. Wait, dying, dying don't trigger. Yeah, it? dying don't trigger it. So Blitz doesn't trigger the draw. Blitz yes. doesn't trigger the draw. <sighs> okay, okay. <laughs> when you leave the yeah. main phase, I, I tap three okay. and I cast Chaos Warp <laughs> and I target Hushbringer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good stuff. Uh, it, uh, it goes shovels in? Yeah, shovels in. Okay. If you reveal a land, it's exactly what you want. This is true, I would be very happy to reveal a land. <laughs> Top card. Ooh. Top card is a cat geist. Which okay. is useful as well. Use combat damage, draw a card. Yeah. Yep, yep. Alright, I'll try go. The raw. Huh. Earlier command tower. And it's time to blitz. So because of my discount, blitz cost one less. So I'll tap two. And I'll blitz in Kaldaya Guardian. Ooh, so the blitz cost is actually cheaper than the mana cost. Yeah, the, so oh. this one naturally has blitz and is cheaper than its own mana cost and it's okay. also discounted. And now, I will go into combat. Would, Would you die, like then? to go my creature? <laughs> 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 I mean, I don't see why not. I might as well. I will <laughs> trigger Kit Kanto. So I will tap down my creatures and I will go Henzi. You will go Henzi. Interesting. So it gets plus two plus two and trample it. Yes. <laughs> hmm. So Henzi will attack Paul and the Guardian will attack as many. No, it's tramp trample, right? Yep. Uh, so plus two I, plus two trample. Yeah, I have no blocks. I have no blocks either. Okay, so Henzi is dealing five and Guardian is dealing four. Yep. Right. Second main, tap four. And I will cast Disciple of Bolas. Oh, so good. Sure. So I'll sacrifice uh, Kadaya Guardian, then I will gain X life and draw its cards. Power is four. I will gain four. I'll draw four cards. My gosh, so strong! And then Kadaya's Guardian's delayed trigger will trigger. I'll draw one card from Blitz, and then I will make two City Jans. <sighs> My turn is over. And draw. No good. No good. Um, well, I will play a mountain mm -hmm. and I will pass. Huh? Naya control? At the end of his step, I would tap for 4 mana. I would cast a big score and as it's the first instant I play during his turn, he has casualty too. Yep. I will sacrifice Tenacious Underdog okay. for big score. So for the additional cost to discard the big score, I will discard a double vision. Ooh. Oh, okay, that's this, interesting. This is good. Okay, so you get a copy of Big Score? Yes, so I have a copy. So the copy will resolve first then? Yeah, so I will draw two cards and create two treasure tokens. Yep. Stonks. And then the original Big Score resolves. Yep. And I will draw two cards and create two treasures. Very good. <sighs> so right. does Smuggler Share see that? Oh no, he's doing it on my end. He just does that, right? It's really passed. Oh, so it's already passed. Uh, yeah, right. yeah, so I don't get it, right? Yeah. Okay, so Smuggler Share actually does not trigger. Oh, no. <laughs> wow! <laughs> good deal! Good job, Good deal! Good deal! Good deal! Good deal. Okay, so it goes on my turn. Upkeep, I draw for my turn again. I will play a Shadow Blood Reach. Sure. Okay. You have like 10 mana. I will tap for 3. I will cast Twinning Stuff. Nice. So That's if good. I will copy a spell one or more time, you'll copy an additional time. Any response? Yeah, I'll counter it. Ooh, ooh, counter spell. I'll tap for blue, I'll cast an offer you can't refuse. Oh, oh you can treasures. get two treasures. I mean, here it has a billion mana, it doesn't matter. Two. I pay you. Sure, is, is, I can't refuse that. Yeah. <laughs> More treasures. I have six treasures now. <laughs> yeah. I pay you, please don't cast that spell. Okay, I'll use four treasures. I'll cast Tenacious mm. Underdog for its least cost, and I pay two life. Yep. Combat phase? Yes, I will trigger Kit Kanto. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll tap both my creatures. I will go Unhello. Unhello? Yes, I don't want you to have a blocker. He's sneaky one. That's why he goaded my Henzi also. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so Unhello gets plus two, plus two. And Trample. Unhello will go to Matthew. Tenacious Underdog will go to Esman. <laughs> yeah, no blocks. Yep, I'll take it. I'm at 28. <laughs> so I will go to my second main phase. I will tap for three. I'll cast Frantic Search, yes. activating its casualty from sure. Unhello. Yes. So I will sacrifice Tenacious Underdog Very nice. to create a copy. Yep. Tenacious Underdogs, because it's casted with Bleeds, I will draw a card. Yep. So Frantic Search copies goes first. Yep. So I'll draw two cards. Then I'll need to discard two cards. Discard three lands. Fear of Ruin. Discard Preordain. So much stones. I'll untap. Three lands. Yeah. Things, things. So now the original is on the stack. Original on the stack. Yeah, so, so I'll tap 
one blue, one red, one black. Yeah, one of each color. One of each color. And the second frantic search triggers. Yeah. So I'll draw two cards. This card, ponder. This card, smoldering rush. Okay. And I'll untap up to three lands. Untap this tree again. Okay. okay. I will use one red, tap two extra for blue and use the blue. I'll cast Echo Mage. Okay. This is another okay. copier. Yeah. I will tap for three mana. I'll cast Glittering Stockpile. Oh, nice. And I would say go. During your end step, uh, Smuggler Share will trigger yes. because you drew a bazillion cards. Uh, I will. Only draw one card. Yeah, I'm still getting something. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. Oh dear. Oh, don't. No. Move to my turn. Yeah. I'll untap. In cards, it's I'll draw. Turn. In cards. I will lay a swap. Then I will consider my life choices and life decisions. I will tap four for a Skatewing Spy. Nice. Creatures I control with flying, with, with a plus one plus one counter, have flying. Ah. So come in. Very good. Very good. Very good. Zen. Zen. I will attack. Okay, before you move to combat. Yes. You see, it's coming. <laughs> you see, it's really coming, it's really coming. I will tap five. Yep. Cast call the copper coats. Sure. Uh, so I'm targeting uh, Paul and Matthew. Okay. So it costs total five mana. Yeah. Two white. And I will make one one human soldiers. Equal to the number of creatures you control in total. Equal okay. to the number of creatures I control. It's okay. So 4 plus 4, thank you for casting the Skate Wings by. Sure. So that's 8 soldiers in total. Uh, yep, so I get 8 soldiers. And then you can move to combat. Alright, I will move to combat. Alright, so beginning of combat. <laughs> <laughs> Kid Kanto will trigger. Okay, sure. Yeah. I will tap down 4 human soldiers. Yeah. In order to go your commander, Kamis. And Cridal, I guess. Okay. Yep. Okay, so we just realized that Kid Kanto only works once each combat. <laughs> <laughs> As man. Uh, slight misplaced. New card, sorry. Didn't read the rules. Yeah, so <laughs> I can actually only go one creature each combat. So those creatures get plus two, plus two, and have trample. Okay. Now you can declare attack. Okay, sure. Kamis has to attack not Esmond. Cridal. Cridal also has to attack not Esmond. Okay. Everything else can attack Esmond. Commander will hit, will hit Yang Ying. Cryal will go at Matthew and Cat Geist will go at Esmond because it can. <laughs> because it can. So, yeah. Yes. Kamis triggers. Uh, I will target Mysterious Cat Geist with the con for to become unblockable. Okay. And so the con the cat guys will connive. So I will draw a card. I will discard a mask of the <laughs> schemer. Okay. Discard a what? So schemer. it gets a plus one counter. So it gets a plus one counter. And then uh, the creature with lesser power will get double strike. So Kurdo of No Kurdo is a three power. Yeah because it's it's loaded. Oh uh, that's so awkward. Yeah, purposely one. Es Esmond is quite sneaky one. <laughs> he just played the Naya. He just played the Naya aggro deck to throw you off the scent. <laughs> He's actually the sneakiest one here. I'm sad, but never mind. I will still hit you in the air for two. So none of your creatures get the double strike trigger. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well done. Oh Esmond. wow, he was sneaky without even knowing. Yeah. It. Sneaky without even knowing it. So he's just naturally sneaky. Yeah, naturally sneaky. Okay. Okay. So, so uh, blockers then. Yeah. Uh, no point blocking. Okay. I'll take it. Three. Okay, yeah. no blockers on my side. Is this how many? Four or uh, five because of that. Yeah. And I'm taking two. Okay, so I'm taking three combat damage. Yeah. And then Kaido triggers. I mill one and lose one. I will gain one and scry one. Yep. I'll leave that on top. The cat guys will trigger. Mm -hmm. And then I will draw a card. Yep. You're welcome. And then I will say go. Draw. Time to be a toolbox. I will lay a mirrored landscape. Tap. And I will immediately proceed to combat. Wow, would you like to? <laughs> <laughs> I shall do the Kit Kanto thing. I yes, I will tap down four of my soldiers X. to go two of your creatures, which will be your toolbox, Tori Commander, and the uh, Disciple of Bolas. Okay. Yep. So they're big now, they can smash. They are big now and they can s smash. Smash. Disciple will go at Paul. Alright. And Z will go at Liang Ying, and the two citizens will go at Esmond. Yeah, no blocks. Okay, yeah, no blocks no either. Blocks. Okay, take damage. So, Disciple is dealing 4, Hanzi is dealing 5, and the citizens are dealing 2. Ouch. Pain. Pain. I think we need a new plan. We need to keep Liang Ying alive because I think Liang is the only one who can kill Esmond through this combat, huh? through this combat nonsense. Huh? 
S man is going to one hit kill people, yeah. Yeah. which is why I'm, I'm not going planning to kill anyone. Yeah. Which is why I'm going to be the toolbox okay, now. All right. Yes, toolbox, toolbox. Toolbox. I will tap seven. No, that sounds bad. Yes, and I will cast from my hand, Deathbringer region. Oh man. When it enters the battlefield, if I cast it from my hand and there are five or more creatures on the <laughs> battlefield, destroy all other creatures. I have a response. Can you not counter it, please? No, I will dig through time oh, and excellent. I will casualty echo mix for it. Wow! wow. <laughs> I will use two treasures here for the blue and I will dial six. Wow! Okay, so you get a copy of dig through time. Okay, so the first copy of dig through time, I will look at the top. So much better. Eleven, two. All right. And the second dig through time, of course. All right. Okay, so you get four cards, well done. Yes. Excellent. Okay, so all other creatures are destroyed. Sure. And Hensi goes to command zone. Kikanto, command zone. Come is command zone. Very well, I shall untap. And draw. And play an exotic orchard. And tap six. For Kit Kanto! <laughs> She's back! <laughs> Immediately back to cause more mayhem with her citizen. And I'll pass. So at the end of his turn, I will tap for Glutering Stockpile at one stash, stash counter. Sure. Yes. So I untap for my turn. I will draw, play an island. This costs five. So I have three left. You see, he's also doing the same math that I'm doing. I'm like, I only have six. I will tap all six. <laughs> There's no math involved. Yeah, no math. Six minus six equals zero. <laughs> okay, I will tap five mana. Yeah, stash. Stash goes up to two. Goes up to two. I'll cast mana geyser. Ooh. Ooh. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen tap lands. Eighteen red mana. Eighteen red mana for you. I cast bane fire for seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> I use four red mana. Yep. To cast a storm kiln artist. Okay. Oh. okay. <laughs> it's He's getting there. Off. Yeah. No, I can't. I can't storm off. Not so. Not so simple. I will tap for one blue and three red. Okay. I will cast cryptic pursuit. Whenever I cast a uh, instant or sorcery spell, I manifest. Uh. Okay. Oh, sure. Okay. Yeah. So it gives you creatures to sack. Yes. I use three red mana, and two blue. I'll cast Leer. Oh no. Uh oh. And I will just end the turn. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but that's a dangerous board stage. <laughs> I will drop a turn. I will play a choke estuary untapped and I will reveal a swamp from my hand. Sweet. I will tap five mana to cast aerial extortionist. Oh, nice. When it ETBs, enters the battlefield or deals combat damage to a player, exile one target non land permanent. For as long as that card remains exiled, its owner may cast it. Mm. Whenever a player casts a spell from anywhere other than their hand, I draw a card. Very good. So I will target Lear with uh, Aerial Extortionist's ability. Okay, so it's exiled. Right. Exiled yeah. under it. For now. For now. You can cast it again next turn. Then... I will say go. Upkeep the raw. Untap land please. No. I will lay a tap land. Temple of Melody and I will scry. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I'll keep it on top. I'll tap 3, cast next of kin. What? Targeting Deathbringer region. Oh, it's the, oh, it's the okay. new um, the tutor. The Camille one. Uh. Yeah, the form, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'll go into combat. Okay, I will <laughs> cause some mayhem. I will tap 2 of my creatures to goad your Deathbringer. <laughs> to goad my Deathbringer. Okay, it is a 7-8. Seven, 7-8 eight. Seven, eight flying trample. Flample. Flample. Okay, okay, so Deathbringer region attack for. Oh. Seven. Take seven. Nice. Life is a resource. Life is a resource. Then on my second main, I will use the power that Esmond gave me. Did I? Yeah. You increased my power by two. Oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> attack for, I'll cast Ruthless Technomancer. Oh, that's oh. good. I will sacrifice Deathbringer regions. Wow. I will gain seven treasures. Nice. Ting. Treasures everywhere. Everywhere. Okay, then it dies. Next of kin triggers. Okay, nice. Next of kin triggers. I will put Henzi onto the battlefield. And it's not a cast, right? So it doesn't trigger the aerial extortionist. Sorry? Huh? Yeah, it's not yeah. a cast. Okay. So Henzi's discount is still one. I will tap two and then I will sack one treasure for its cost. And then I will sack four more treasures for the X. Right. Uh, okay. Then I will return Indrik Stormhowler to the field. Ooh. 
Okay. Like no so yeah. when Storm Howler enters, I will target Beastmaster. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Destroy, okay. uh, <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay. It's destroyed. Yes, and I'm done. Nice. Oh wait. So next of kin triggers, and you return to battlefield attached to Henzi. Oh, that's so good. The roll. All right, let's cause more mayhem. I shall tap three, and I will play Renegade Wheelsmith. So when it becomes tapped, target creature can't block this turn. Wow. Wow. <laughs> then I will tap three more. I will play a Prosperous Partnership. When the ETBs, I make two green citizens, green and white citizens. I can tap three creatures to make a treasure. You just want me to keep on board wiping, right? <laughs> I don't want you to. Do it. And then I will move to combat. Kit Kanto will attack <laughs> Liang Ying for three. So that will trigger Beastmaster and gets one counter. Getting there, getting there. Okay, no block. Okay, and that's it for me. I will draw. I will play a Swarm for the turn. Okay. I will attack for four mana. I will Blitz Tenacious Underdog. <laughs> wow, <laughs> <big draw. laughs> yes, I will play to Live. Okay. I will go to combat. No, I, I will not trigger Kid Kanto. You will not trigger Kid Kanto? I have bigger fish to fry. Oh, okay. okay, second name. I will attack for five. Stash. Stash counter, yeah. So sub, so I'll cast Flawless Forgery and I'll casualty the Tenacious Underdog. Sure. <laughs> Why is Flawless? So I'll oh. exile instant or sorcery from a... Oh, that's why you can't look at the grave. Okay, so Storm King triggers first. Storm King triggers first, I will create two treasures from Storm King Artists. Because you get the cast and the copy. Yes. Right? Ah, so when Tenacious Underdog dies, I'll draw a card mm -hmm. from his Blitz. Mm -hmm. So the f copy of the Flawless Forgery activates. I will exile... Chaos Block. Chaos Block. I'll uh, target Beastmaster Ascension. Okay, so... I'm helping awesome. you, you know. Thank you. So on the cast, you also get a treasure from Storm King? Yeah. Yes, correct. And then Beastmaster will get shuffled. And he's going to reveal Giant Edifice. Edifice! Ah! Okay, so uh, I will reveal the top card. Yep, go ahead. It shall be... Let oh, Felwa! Not yeah. so bad. It's Lan. Lan. Yeah, Lan. Lan. <laughs> Lan. Okay, so it goes on to my field. So the Flawless Forgery, I will copy the... Wait, uh, I think I missed the trigger. Yeah, so because the spell is cast from Matthew's graveyard. No, it's cast from, from Exile, Exile actually. He's oh, copying he's right copying my card and cast from Exile. Oh yeah. Oh. Exile the card, then I copy the card. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, so it's cast from Exile. Yeah. So because of that I will draw a card. Oh strong. Wow. Strong. Very strong. And you're gonna do it again. I'll cast migration path. Okay. <laughs> so that thing will trigger again. Yep. And I will draw a card. So I'll find two basics. Put into play that right. Yes. Yeah. I find a mountain and a swamp. Okay. Okay, and I would say go. During the beginning of your end step, Smuggler Share will see that you put down two lands. I will get a treasure token. Sweet. He also drew two cards. So I will draw a card for Smuggler Share. Yep. Then I'll move to my turn, I'll untap. Then I'll draw it in for turn. Nice. He just drew like four cards. <laughs> <laughs> Smuggler Share, people. Finally doing work. Alright, Skycloud expands. Um, okay, I will tap six. Okay. I will cast my commander. Okay. I shall move to combat. Oh, okay. Beginning of combat. Yep. Let me help you out there. I'll tap down two of my citizens yep. to go your extortionist. Sure. Extortionist is goaded. And it gets plus two, plus two, and trample. Okay. So, I will attack you, Matthew. Alright. For whatever flammable power it is. Six. Six. Kamis will trigger. I will connive. So, I will draw a card. And I will discard a card. Which is a commit memory. Oh. Uh, so it gets it's a plus, plus one, one counter. So it's a seven. So power. it's now seven power. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, my life total will block. Okay. <laughs> Finally, you're in your twenties. <laughs> I mean, my twenties. <laughs> so, so happy. <sighs> okay. And then for the trigger for the bird, I will take the glittering stockpile. Why? Nice. Right. Why? Oh, he's just exiling all your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to do work. And then I will tap two, and I will play my Azorius Signet. And then I will say go. <sighs> okay, my turn. Untap, upkeep. Draw. I already knew this was here. So I'll tap for... For some blitzing. I'll blitz in Kura, the Boundless Sky. Oh, wow. And yeah. I will proceed to combat. Alright, Kid Kanto, here to cause some mayhem. I will tap my remaining two creatures. I'm just gonna go with the biggest one, the Indrik. Storm Howler, and then uh, Renegade Wheel Smith will trigger. I will make Kamis unable to block. Okay. Oh, 
So Kamis is unable to block, Storm Howler is goaded. Yeah. yeah, I'll just attack Young Ying with Intrigue Storm Howler. Yeah. Then shoot the rest or just all go in as Moon. So Paul with Kura and the other two as Moon. They cannot block. Okay, I will take. I have no blocks, I'll take 5. Have no blocks, I'll take 6. Okay. I will take 4. Yeah, 4. Alright, 4, yeah. Second main. Uh, sacrifice one treasure. Tap six more. Oh, seven mana. Eh? Okay, stalking vengeance. Stalking oh, wow. vengeance. It has haste. Yes, it has haste. No, but I didn't want to run the risk of you goading it. I would have goaded it. Yeah. I will now proceed to my end step. I will have to sacrifice Kura. Yeah. Then from the Blitz Delete trigger, I will draw one card. And then uh, both Kura and Stalking Vengeance will trigger. I will resolve Kura first. I will make a spirit where X is the number of lands I control. So that's a 10 10 spirit. Spirit. Oh, 10. <laughs> Ouch. And Stalking Vengeance's trigger, uh, I'll deal damage equal to the dying creature's power to another target player or playing soccer. 4 damage to. Highest life total. Highest life total. Myself. Highest life total, that's not me, I guess. Oh. <laughs> Paul, Paul, Paul. How much is that? 4 damage. 4 damage. Yeah, 16. Oh wow, we're wow. so low. We're low. Four we have to kill, we have to kill, we have to kill Matthew. Kill him, kill him now. And I end my turn. Draw. Yeah. I am going to tap 5 and I will play a tender shoot dryad. Oh, oh. 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 this one is high profile target. Saprolings. You have to kill already. What? <laughs> <laughs> Before he can grow saprolings. Oh. Because I have ascended. 10 of all permanents, I have ascended. You automatically ascend. Yeah, so now the saprolings are 3-3. Tr uh, I, no I have no saprolings yeah. yet. I have no saprolings yet. At the beginning yes. of each I will pass my turn. Okay, so yeah. your upkeep lagging. Untap for my turn. I Untap shall upkeep. Get. Yes. I shall get a saproling. A 3-3 tree, tree saproling. Draw for my turn. It's disgusting. Alright, so I will play a mixture theater. Right, first land for turn. When it enters the battlefield, I sacrifice it. Yep. And I will search for a swamp. Right, second land for turn. And it comes to play tap. And you gain one life. And I gain one life. Yep. Oh, it matters yeah. in the grand scheme of things. Yes, four it four does. Life. It really does. Okay, I will tap for five. I will cast Leer from Exile. Yep. Okay, Great. when you cast a card from Exile, I draw a card. Yep. So I'll tap for 5, I'll cast Hello. Okay. I'll, I'll sacrifice 3 treasures to flashback Frantic Search. Oh nice! Mm -hmm. And I will casualty you Storm Kill Artist. You make a treasure from the... Right? Oh yeah, I cast it. Yeah. But I don't get the second one because I sacrifice it as yeah. part of the casualty. Right. Yeah. So I get one treasure and I get a copy of Frantic Search. Very nice. So first Frantic Search trigger, I'll draw 2 cards. Discard 2 cards. Discard. <laughs> <laughs> and this card Mimic Vet. But that's I'll, such a good blocker. Uh, untap 3. <laughs> <laughs> so the second Fending Shed trigger, I'll draw two cards. Yep. I'll discard a uh, Temple of Epiphany and a uh, Xander's Pack. So I'll untap 3 lands. Yep. Very nice. Awesome. So I'll tap 6 and I would cast Maestro's Confluence. So I will choose a third one for each player. So go each creature target player controls. Ooh. Choose Power, Mana, and Esmond. Wow! By the way, since it's relevant, right? If you have multiple good effects, so 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 now that he's good at all my creatures, right? If you were to go my creature, I have no choice but to attack for. Right. Yeah, <laughs> I get it. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. So three of y'all are good, at, and good. I would end my turn. So because you played the Maestros, yeah, there's also two lands entered. Smuggler Share will see that. This is so stressful. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get a treasure token. Do you draw cards? You draw a Brazilian cards. So it's I will draw yeah, a card. Yeah, yeah. yeah, this is hard. I don't like this card anymore. <laughs> Not a good card. Yeah. It's too safe. stressful. Okay, your turn. Oh, my turn. Right. <laughs> Forgot about this. <laughs> Untap. Okay, on your upkeep, I will get another step rolling. Dang, I thought you would forget. <laughs> no. Draw no. for turn. Now play Swamp. Swarm. Need haste creature. Haste creature double three four. Double double strike. Death's touch. What's double double strike? <laughs> <laughs> Holy! I'll tap four to play Murek. Night blade. <laughs> okay. So each death, creature death, death. I control with plus one plus one counter on it has death. Touch. Holy shit! <laughs> I will tap two. I will cast the foot boots. Nice. Then okay. I will tap the feed her for one colorless to equip the Mer Egg Night Blade with the Swift Foot Boots. Yep. Then I will move to combat. All right. Kid Kanto triggers. Yep. I will tap um, two citizens. Mm hmm. And I will just go to your Aerial Extortionist. Okay. So Aerial Extortionist is big AF. And has to attack me. 
<laughs> and can only attack Matthew now. And can only attack Matthew now. The rest can attack Esmond. I'll have Aerial Extortionist attack Matthew. Yeah. And Kamis will attack Esmond. I will have Kamis Trigger. connive. Okay. Okay. Fair so enough. it's unlockable. I connive. I will draw a card. I will discard a card. I have too many cards. I'll discard by the Naftasa. It gets a plus one counter. So it has death touch. Yeah, it has death touch. Okay. Yep. Can't be blocked anyway. Yeah. Yep, so I'm not gonna, I can't block flyers, so take seven. Mm -hmm. Seven. And I'll take three commander. I'm at 15! The trigger. Aerial Extortionist will trigger. Yep. And I'll take the Tender Shoot Dryad. Alright, Tender Shoot Dryad is like Not thinking, too difficult. Okay, then for my second main phase, I'll tap one black to outlast my Murak Knight Blade. You guys tap. Yeah, I'll let me just tap. Okay, sure, I'll tap. I don't care. Uh, okay. Okay. Huh. I will say go. Go. I've run out of stuff to blitz. One, can you go all my creatures? No, I only have five. Uh. I only have two. It's only tap one time, right? Oh! oh. Wait, so I can't go multiple creatures? Oh, we played her wrongly! So, when you move to combat, yeah. I will tap down two of my creatures. The Citizen and the Will Smith. I will go with your 1010 spirit. Okay. So and Will Smith also, yeah. right? Will when. Will Smith. Will Smith? <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> So it will trigger, uh, I'll just make Unhello unable to block. Oh, sure. What? Nothing of yours can attack Liang Ying? Yeah, nothing. Oh, okay. I, I've had no new creatures. So Spirit is double goaded, has to attack Paul. And okay. Let me think about the rest. Uh, Paul is open, right? Yeah, I'm open. <laughs> okay. So Storm Howler and Technomancer go at Paul. Uh, yeah. You better say more at him, like, just to be sure. <laughs> just to be sure. Yeah, just to be sure. <laughs> yeah, Henzi also at Paul's talking vengeance at you. Okay, so four creatures at Paul. And one vengeance at me. And one vengeance at you, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll declare blocks first. One separating will jump in front of the avatar. Uh, before damage, I will crack the treasure for white mana. Ooh. Ooh. I will cast swords to plow shares. Ooh, 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 ooh. Targeting the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! No! You get 10 life. You get 10 life. Uh, yep, okay, resolves. Yep, so I gain, you gain 10 life. So I gain 12 10 life. 12 life. 12 life. Jeez. Then damage. So separating dice. Yep. And Paul takes uh, nine. Nine. Okay. Okay. Second main. I tap three. I cast victimize. Oh. I will, <laughs> I'll target two creatures in my graveyard. Okay. My two targets are Deathbringer and Kura. Yep. Yep. And then you sacrifice. I sacrifice ruthless Technomancer. Okay. Then I return them to battlefield. Tap. Talking vengeance to trigger. I deal two damage to Paul. <laughs> no. But I'm not done. I will tap two. I'll cast Evolutionary Leap. Oh, oh no. And then... Sick. Ouch. I will tap green. I will sacrifice Kura. Oh no. Okay. I'll make a spirit. Back. That is... <laughs> still 10-10. <laughs> then... Uh, Stalking Vengeance triggers. I'll deal 4 damage to Resman. Okay, I'm at 11. Then... I will... Review cards until I hit a creature. Eternal Witness. Oh, what? Oh, ouch! Oh. Add it to my hand, but it doesn't matter because I will sacrifice Deathbringer to kill Paul. No. <laughs> Paul died either way. No. Yep. Okay. Then reveal for another creature, Timon Saber Oh my goodness. Oh. Goes to my hand. I sacrifice the spirit. Yep. I do 10 to Yang Ying. Then Evolutionary Leap. Review until creature Avenger of Zendika. Oh my goodness! Into my hand. No more green. No more green. It doesn't matter. I'm going to. I'm going to suicide. What? I'm going to suicide people. Okay. I tap one red. I cast Blasphemous Act. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are we dead? No. Do you have enough? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No. no. Not enough. enough. No, it's not Damn it. enough. No. No. You know what? I still go for it. So thirteen no. damage to each creature. Yeah. Okay, let me see. Yeah. Uh. I will. Sack okay. two treasures. Yep. I will cast Big True Time Casualty Layer. <laughs> okay. okay. I will delve six. One copy and one normal. Yeah. Okay, then it resolves. Alright. So all creatures take 13 damage. 13 damage, yep. So Talking Vengeance. Talking Vengeance will deal 12 damage yep. to Esmond. Ouch. I am deaded. And Z no, returns no. to command zone. Next of kin, I have nothing. Oh wow. Yep. So it stays in the graveyard. Untap, draw for my turn. This is your moment. Tap for four mana. I'll play Arcan Signet, Red Dog Signet. How's it go? Draw. Seven. 
Evan Johnson the car. Uh, response lah. Uh. Yep. Tag for five. Our mystic conference. Very nice. Oh. Two times on your Evan Johnson the car and I'll draw a card. Okay. So counted. Counter counted. Draw. Counter counted. And then I turn three because it's a witness. Every time Evan Johnson the car. <laughs> okay. Uh yeah then. Draw for my turn. Play on mount. <laughs> okay. I'll play my commander. And hello's back. And hello's back. Sweet. Death touch. Death touch. Tap for two. Block gas. Yep. Block gas can't block, right? Can't block. <laughs> Tap for two. Tawas one. <laughs> okay, I'll say go. Keep the row. Tap three, cause Journey of Eternity. Ooh, nice. Okay. Wait for Eternal Witness. Mm -hmm. Yep, makes sense. Then I cast Avenger of Zenica. Mm. Okay. So we plans. Ten plans. Ten plans. And I go to combat? No. Yep. Attack Young Ying with Eternal Witness. Four. Two. Two. Take two. Yep. Ooh, wow. Second main, I suck the treasure. Sacrifice Eternal Witness ah, okay. to Elite. Alright. Then I got two triggers. I'll trigger Journey to Eternity first. I'll return it, transform under my control. Page triggers landfall. So the plants all get pumped. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Nice. And then Evolutionary Leap. Reveal for brave. Creature, Ognis. Ognis. The Dragon's Leash. Oh, haste. Goes to my hand. And I uh, am done. Alright, untap for my turn. If I cannot do anything, I will just yoop. Yoop. Uh, let's get up. Alright, I can't get back. Good game, good game. What a game. What a game. Alright, so that is it for another episode of Quintessential Commander, where I once again misplay the new commander. <laughs> Honestly, Kid Kanto was really quite fun. Um, golden creatures. My plan was always to kind of leave creatures up so that I can goad their creatures and let them smash each other, which I think worked out pretty well until I realized that I could only goad one creature per turn. <laughs> I mean, honestly, the plus two, plus two, and trample is yes. quite legit. Oh, but Henzi, Henzi was great. I put in all three of the Neon Dynasty dragons, but only Kura came out, and Kura already did so much work. Imagine oh, if I had Junji, Junji yeah. and Kura together! <laughs> so good. A blitz is built to take advantage of death effects, mm. so it's so it's very good. I really like Journey to Eternity in this deck. Yeah, yeah. it's very strong. Really, really so good. Very, very strong. Yeah. Alright, so for Unhello, it's a very fun deck, but it needs like as all Wixie's deck, it needs more card draw and it's surprisingly very mana hungry. Yeah, so not I surprising. Think, yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but I think the issue is that you always had no creatures to casualty. No, I mean, I have the underdog. Damn, but that's why like, he always didn't have enough mana because yeah. he always needed to factor in the blitz cost of the underdog. Yeah. Kamis is interesting. The, the evasion is very good and combined with like their aggressive flyers, you can actually dish out like a constant flow of damage. I would say maybe like I should put in a bit more interaction. Uh, but other than that, I think like the deck itself, the game plan is very solid. It's okay, there was enough interaction. He stopped my one turn win! <laughs> he stopped my one turn win! What? Okay, so uh, I think fantastic episode. All the new commanders, really cool, the precons. Let us know if you're picking one up and which one is your favorite. Unfortunately, only four of us, so we couldn't feature the last one. Brokers, the brokers. <laughs> so if you have any experience with brokers, let us know as well. Otherwise, once again, all the links are below. Go support this series if you enjoy it. Share the video, take part in the giveaway, and let us know what commander you'd like to see next time. Otherwise, thank you for watching, and we'll see you all again. Bye-bye. <laughs>